In high school, uh, in a history lesson, uh, my teacher put on a recording with Julian Bream and Peter Pears. And I thought, that's, well, that's something I'd like to do. So I guess that was the start of loot. The, uh, the Arabs brought the, their loots to Europe um, when they invaded Spain and uh, Sicily and so on. And that's where the loot comes from. And then it was taken up by the Europeans. In the 1500s and 1600s, it was one of the main stream instruments. Lutonists who worked for, for uh, at courts uh, usually were called on to play in the bedchambers uh, at night or, or at very intimate settings. This is a copy of an instrument from 1582, um, but a copy made uh, for me in uh, Switzerland. The lute is quite a fragile instrument. The soundboard is just a millimetre or two thick and uh, they break quite easily. So pieces that you find in museums are usually not in a playable condition. This particular instrument has six double strings and one single, but the others are in pairs, so you play the two strings with one stroke. So this instrument has um, 13 strings in all, but you, we call it a seven course lute. So it's, uh, it was strung in gut, sheep gut, and the frets are also made of gut. All these uh, pieces of wood here, the ribs, are individual pieces and put together over a mould. This is maple and uh, the soundboard is nearly always made of alpine spruce because um, the, uh, the spruce grows very slowly up at high altitudes which makes for a very dense wood and it gives a better sound. Both the instruments were around at the time of Purcell and Handel so I choose either the, the lute or the theorbo depending on the character of the piece. 